back in town for this weekend. He's a favorite of mine. Please give it up for the wonderful Martin Phillips. So you know what they say, I'm just imagining everyone naked right now. <laughs> and now I'm terrified. <laughs> this is gross. Uh, I, I, some guy gave me advice once about being nervous. He's like, come up here and just don't care. You know, he's like, act like you're drunk. So taking that advice, I'm gonna uh, unzip my pants and piss everywhere. <laughs> that sounds correct. <laughs> You thought the proper things were a decision at the time. It's gonna be one no show. <laughs> Anyhow, I uh, I used to live in Fairfax, uh, you know, a couple months ago. And uh, you know, if you know about uh, Northern Virginia in general, it has the highest sex offender percentage in the state. So I fit in well. Like it's, a, it's just like home up here. Uh, that, 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 that's a joke. You can Google Marvel sex offender and nothing will show up. And, and if it does, I didn't think your phone would work that fast. So. I should save that joke for last. Then, Run right out of here and make some details. Okay, right. There's probably a guy named Martel who's a sex man, but it's not this Martel. <laughs> At least I didn't think it's this Martel. You'd be surprised. But, uh, anyway, uh, uh, anyone uh, online date? And this is what this next joke is about. So it's for that one guy clapping, right? <laughs> He was like, yo, get it. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, I never all night dated, but you know, whatever. I kind of feel like, what's the story, you know? Like, I got my girlfriend the same way I got my couch, you know? Like, you know? <laughs> I was bored. I was on Craigslist. <laughs> No stains, no scratches. And the guy said he tied you with my car for free. So I it up. Actually, for real, I met someone in the audience once, this couple, they met on Craigslist. And uh, I don't know where they are now, but I'm pretty sure one of them is dead. <laughs> Absolutely. That's how, that's how it's about right. Um, <laughs> 
sure, hey, uh, is anyone, anyone, yeah, yeah, uh, any beauty pics, any, anyone got them beauty pics? You don't want to share them? You know, it's okay, I can find them online later, okay? Be careful, I'm saying be careful, okay? I'm gonna look at that. Uh, when, uh, when I was getting here, I heard this uh, Taylor Swift song, on the radio, and, and in the song she says, you're Romeo, and I was the scarlet letter. So basically she's made she's a whore. <laughs> See, these people paid attention in the love great English, so they came back to help you with this joke. So. <laughs> the last place you thought it would. Uh, but yeah, so that's my book joke, yeah. <laughs> we're, all, we're all smart here. <laughs> So I always say, I'm going to start doing, you know, jokes about books. I should start doing gigs in libraries, because, you know, we know when, when no one laughs, it's okay, because we're at a library. <laughs> and people will be like, shh, like, hey, I'll be here all week. <laughs> Check out the nonfiction section. It's for real. <laughs> Fiction means. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're smart. You know? So uh, my my sister just had a kid. Woo! Like, hey, uh, you really Yay! <laughs> that story I'm sticking with. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're all like, you know, she's not like a babysit, but I told her straight up. I was like, yo. I don't do diapers, you know, like, I don't sound immature, but I mean, hey, I don't even change my own diapers, so. <laughs> See, when I say that, there's always people in the audience looking at me, and I'm like, does he wear diapers? <laughs>